all right my dearest team let's get right into this video with that long intro i hope you guys enjoy that slow motion um cinema type of thing so let's just get into right into the video i have my ingredients here i'll just later on introduce myself and if you're a new subscriber i welcome you if you're a returning subscriber i also welcome you here i have all my different colors of bell peppers i am going to cut one and then show you guys the um show you guys how to cut the pepper and then i will do the rest off camera so just watch closely how i am going to be cutting my bell peppers all right Alright, my dad's team. So here I have four medium size onion. Depending on how much you're making, the quantity you're making, you might not need all four. You might only need three or two. Like I said, depending on how much um, you are making. Um, remember, this is peppered kidney. Yes, so delicious, so easy, and so simple to make. I am going to also cut the onions to unify everything the same way I cut my bell peppers. So keep on watching. So I just wanted to show you guys, you might come across ones that are not so nice, like the diamond cut shape. You want to save that. You do not want to throw them away because you can use this to make um, fried eggs in the morning or any type of stew or soups. Okay. So do not throw those um, ones that are not shaped diamond, like a diamond shape with the rest of the peppers and uh, um, onion. All right. Save them, put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in your fridge. You might want to use them for another recipe. So after cutting my bell peppers and my onions in the diamond shape, beautiful, look at that guys. So let's move on to the next step. And then here I have my scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper, adjust the spice to your liking. As you can see, I have like four 
um, papers here, but I'm definitely ju just going to um, cut up three of them. Adjust the spice to your liking. If you don't like the heat, you can actually just take the seeds out because that's where the heat is pretty much is. On the, uh, the heat is pretty much on the, um, the pepper. The heat is pretty much on the seeds. So you can just scrape that out. That will re reduce the heat for you. And next I have a couple of cloves of garlic. You already know I like a lot of garlic in my food. And besides, garlic is very, very healthy for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a rough chop with my knife like so. If you cannot do it this way or if it's very unsafe, you could just put it in your um, food processor or your blender. And next, moving on to the next step, after prepping up all my um, ingredients, my bell peppers and stuff, now let's move on to the next step and um, cutting up our kidney. Yes, this is fresh kidney, guys. It is very fresh. Yes. So I already washed the kidney. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to um, tap dry it with the paper towel and remove some of the excess water from it. Yes. And next, I am going to just simply cut um the kidney i'm just gonna follow if you can watch closely the kidney have like its own um you know like i don't even know how to say it but you can you can tell it it has like some lines on it you can just if depending on if you want to cut them too big or you want to cut them too small but i'm just gonna follow those um those cuts on the kidney and cut it really big besides when you cook it it's gonna shrink anyway so what i'm simply doing here i'm just gonna take some of the fat out you can take most of the fat out but you you're not gonna be able to take all of the fat out you want to leave some of the fat in anyway you know it will make it really really um juicy and delicious so i'm just gonna simply cut the kidney and then we're gonna move on to the next step so after cutting up the kidney, now I am going to simply season the kidney with adobo. Yes, if you don't have this type of seasoning, use any seasoning of your choice. You can use, um, you know, nor season cube, or you can just use different type of seasoning like garlic powder, garlic salt, and onion powder. You can do that because this seasoning, this adobo seasoning pretty much have all of those ingredients like garlic powder, onion powder, you know black pepper all mixed in like i said again if you don't have adobo or you can use um all-purpose seasoning whichever seasoning you have it is perfectly fine you can use salt too if you want or just salt and pepper all right but you want to make sure you put some garlic powder garlic onion you know all that good stuff next i am going to also sprinkle in some black pepper simple as that that's the only seasoning i am going to use for my kidney the black pepper and the all-purpose seasoning so I'm going to go ahead and give it a good mix and let it sit for one good hour. If you don't have the time, I would say half an hour to 45 minutes will be perfect.
so guys this was one hour later i am going to pour in some oil in my pot you want to make sure the oil is extremely hot as you can see one hour later my kidney has been really really seasoned really really good now let's get this, the kidney into the hot extremely hot oil yes And just go ahead and cook it uncovered, all right? Because you don't want extra water to go in there. It's, it's going to ooze out its own um, liquid anyway, as you can see already. This is definitely going to take a long, long time to cook, guys. So I let it cook for a little bit. As you can see, all that water, no, it's going to take too long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop everything out because it, 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 the kidney already cooked, but not thoroughly cooked. I am going to scoop everything out and get rid of that that water and oil and put that aside i'm not actually going to use it so i'm just going to drain that out and go ahead and put a fresh oil and go ahead and brown it this time just simply just brown it for a little bit all right i know it takes a long time it's time consuming but trust me you want to follow this recipe just the way i am showing you guys so after getting rid of all that water and oil mix I am going I added a little bit of oil now this time I'm just gonna go ahead and brown it up a little bit you don't want to cook it too long because you don't want the kidney to be too tough as you can see that would have been like taking long time to cook so I just got rid of that and added a fresh oil to cook to brown the kidney as you can see this is how it looks like next i am going to go ahead and scoop this one out again and put it aside and clean the pot and then add another oil fresh oil to continue on with the recipe if you are enjoying this recipe so far this video so far why not just go ahead and give this video a big like a big thumbs up if you're new thank you for coming back if you're a new subscriber thank you for coming and also, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget that post notification bell so that you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. As you can see, I added a fresh new oil this time again. Now I am going to go ahead and add my chopped garlic. You want to just kind of fry the garlic a little bit. Let it infuse into the oil to give it that good aroma going on. Garlic tend to burn really fast so just cook it like you know like uh, under one minute like so and then add your hot habanero pepper or, ch or scotch bonnet pepper give it a little stir fry it a little bit and then i'm going to go ahead and add all my chopped diamond shaped bell peppers and onions i'm telling you guys this recipe is so easy to make and so delicious guys it is a must try if you're enjoying this video, like I said again, give this video a big like, a big thumbs up. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And I thank you so much for watching this video and keep on watching. And if you try this recipe, let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and add my diamond shape um, peppers and onions. As you can see, look at that, guys. It is so beautiful and looking so yummy already, guys. Yes, look at that. So I am going to give it a good mix like so and then keep on watching because we are going to add some seasoning into this um, beautiful peppers and onions. Yes, give it a good mix. You don't want to add too much oil too, just a little bit of oil. I'm going to use that same exact adobo seasoning, which is the all-purpose seasoning. Like I said again, if you don't have the all-purpose seasoning, just use garlic powder, garlic salt, black pepper and all of that good stuff all right so i added that and also added some black pepper yes guys this is a must try just keep on watching guys So after cooking the peppers and the onions a little bit until it's a little translucent you don't want to cook it too 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 soft just a little translucent next we're going to go ahead and add our 
fried kidney guys yes this is some delicious peppered kidney that i am going to be enjoying with some noodles yes i will show you guys the noodles that i'm going to eat it with you can perfectly eat it with white rice as well yes i am going to go ahead and add my um fried kidney brown fried beautiful brown fried kidney and um give it a good mix yes we are going to add another delicious ingredient into this peppered kidney yes peppered kidney guys peppered kidney so delicious so easy yes 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 i want you guys to try this so bad please try it and let come back and leave a comment and let me know so after adding the kidney yes this is another great ingredients you wanna it's a must it's a must you must add that so i'm gonna use the dijon mustard you know you have different type of mustard guys this is the dijon mustard dijon mustard all right it's not the regular yellow mustard you want to add this dijon mustard yes just add a little bit like so not too much just sprinkle it a little bit in into the um, um pot like so give it a good mix yes yes look at that guys you're not gonna tell me this looks so yummy already yes give it a good mix pretty much everything is almost done but you want to just cook it a little bit let everything introduce themselves into the pot and let everything marinate and you know and as you can see i threw my one pepper there yes in case it's not too hot you know i have that one that i can squeeze on the side yes keep on watching guys so this is the noodles i um cooked um bef off camera obviously when the um kidney was being seasoned in the fridge so i go ahead and cook my obviously everybody knows how to cook you know noodles you just put water and boil it as you can see like i said again everything is pretty much done look how beautiful this is guys i hope you guys enjoy watching this video please it's a must try try this peppered kidney yes it's just like pepper steak but peppered kidney guys you can enjoy it with white rice good jasmine or basmati rice or some good old al, al dente noodles yes and try it guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you're new subscribe if you're all returning subscriber i welcome you thank you all so much for watching until i come your way next time may peace be unto you all shalom